Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm feeling like I want a sweet treat, but I don't want it to be healthy-ish. So we're gonna make chocolate covered strawberries. These are five ingredients. Strawberries, chocolate, coconut oil. Three ingredients? Yeah, okay, let's so figured. You know what? We're all in this whole virus pandemic together and I don't know about you, but I'm not going out to eat. I'm making everything in the house and for date night, these are perfect. So here I have what is called a double boiler, which is a pot with about an inch of water and, ooh, it's getting pretty hot, but a mixing bowl on the top of it. You're gonna wanna use an oven mitt to hold the pot because obviously it is hot. You wanna make sure that the bowl does not touch the water, but if it does, it is not the end of the world. So to the bowl, we're gonna add about a half of a tablespoon of some coconut oil. If you don't have coconut oil, you can use vegetable oil. Now that our coconut oil is melted, I know because it's clear, it looks like there's nothing in here, we're gonna add our chocolate. I have the Hacienda San Jose 55% uh, dark chocolate. These are pretty big. So we're gonna start with a couple and then go from there. So if you're wondering why you can't just melt chocolate and why you need the oil, the oil helps to create a coating for the strawberries so that it'll actually melt and stay on there and not just be melty chocolate, it hardens. So we're gonna let this melt. This is gonna take a couple of minutes. You don't wanna bring it up to a rapid boil. Just let it do its thing. Once you have the majority of your chocolate melted, you wanna work semi quickly here. We're gonna lower the heat, scrape down the sides just to make sure everything nicely incorporated. Mixy, mixy. Now, for our strawberries, we're gonna leave the stem on. It is a lot easier to just kind of roll them in here, but it's hot. So we're gonna take a metal skewer, stick it right down the top, turn your bowl slightly to the side and just work on coating. If you need a little spoon like this, work slowly, but also quickly because you know you could always turn the heat back on. Make sure everything is nicely coated. And of course you wanna make sure your strawberries are washed and also dried. Water is the enemy here. So I like to shake off the excess. Now you could leave them like this, place them on a parchment lined piece of paper, which is what I have back here. Or you can be extra like me and I have some chopped maple flavored almonds and coat them in the nuts. And you're just gonna place them on a parchment lined piece of paper. And then we're gonna throw them in the fridge. Of course, if you chop your nuts smaller or buy already pre-sliced almonds, it'll be so much easier, but use what you have. Okay, now we can work on the rest. Sometimes it's just easier to do it without a skewer, get your fingers a little dirty, and then we'll throw it onto our parchment lined paper. I seriously cannot believe that a place like Edible Arrangements sells these for crazy amounts of money when they are so easy and simple to make. You're just gonna keep repeating the same steps. And also you do not have to have the most perfect strawberries for this because they're gonna be covered in chocolate. I've even made them with pre-cut strawberries that were sliced up whenever we had a fruit salad and I just tossed some melted chocolate over it. These are done. Maybe to make it a little bit easier, we'll just sprinkle some nuts on them. Yeah, you know what? Just do yourself the favor of buying the pre-chopped nuts. Now we can place these in the fridge for about 15 minutes. It's now 30 minutes later and look at how good they look. And from that coconut oil, hard shell, 
perfect.